Hello everybody, my name is Edgar and I'm with the Bain Group. And today I'm going to show you how you can use AI Builder Actions in Power Automate. In this video, we'll be going over different AI Builder Actions, how to use AI Builder Action Blocks, and testing your flow. AI Builder is a new Power Automate feature that allows you to use AI models to optimize your business processes. It helps add intelligence to your business that can help you automate processes and gain insight from your data. Alrighty, uh, to start things off, let's start by creating a flow. So we'll just click here on Instant Cloud Flow, and we'll give it a name. Let's call it AI Builder Test Flow. And then we'll select Manually Trigger Flow, Create. And now we're in our Power Automate Builder screen. Uh, we'll exit off of Copilot since we won't be using that today. Let's start off by adding the AI Builder onto a flow. So we'll click plus here, add an action, and then it's the first one here, AI Builder. So once we click on AI Builder, we'll see all the different actions that Microsoft has currently for AI Builder. Uh, make sure to keep checking on this since uh, Microsoft is always coming out with new cool things to try out. If we read through these, we can see a lot of cool things that AI Builder can do, like create text from GPT. It can extract information from a lot of different things like documents, receipts, they can generate descriptions from images, predict things, translate text, text into another language. It's a, a lot of really cool things that can help you save a lot of time in your business processes. For today's example, we'll be using analyze positive or negative sentiment in text. So let's say, for example, you're running a, a review site and you would like to see if people are leaving positive or negative reviews. Um, we could use an AI builder flow to collect all that data and all that text input and then give us an Excel file that has um, all the different reviews with positive or negative um, indications on it so we can see what our customers are thinking about our product or service. So we'll test that out today to see how that works. So before we click on this, let's add an input to our trigger so we can test it out. We'll select text and then we'll go back and add that action. So we'll go here, uh, builder, and then analyze positive or negative sentiment in text. So we will select the language that we'll be um, collecting the information from. So we'll click English. And then for text, we'll be using text from the trigger. So we'll click on dynamic content and then we'll select see more and then input. So this is the input from the user. And click add and there we go. It's all good to go. Alrighty, now we have our AI builder block scanning uh, any inputs from the customer and creating a positive or negative sentiment um, prediction. So now we want to create uh, an action block that will um, export our data onto a certain location. So for this example, we want to export the data coming from AI builder onto an Excel file. So let's click the plus here, add an action, and then we'll look for Excel. So here we have Excel online for business. We'll click see more and then we'll click on add a row into a table. And then we'll just fill out the location parameters. So let's select our OneDrive. And drive again and then file. Let's select our, our Excel, then our table. And that was it. And then for parameters, we'll be selecting column one and two, input information. And then for the first column on our Excel file, we want to add the input that the customer put in. So we'll just select the input from our manual trigger. So we just go to manually trigger flow, and then we'll select the input. Let's see where it's at. There you go, input, add. And then for our second column, we want to add uh, whatever the AI builder picked up, if it's positive or negative. So we'll select the dynamic content from AI builder. And then we'll select sentence sentiment. Uh, so it's either going to give us a positive, neutral, or a negative sentiment from whatever the user inputted. And then we'll click add. And that's it. So let's click save. And then we'll test out our AI builder flow, see how it works. To test our flow, we'll just go on test manually. Then we'll click test again. And then for this example, here's where the customer reviews would come in. So for this example, we'd, let's, let's just say, uh, this is the best Power Automate tutorial video I've ever seen, just as an example. 
All right, then let's run the flow. Click done. The AI builder has picked up our positive or negative sentiment, and then it added a row into the table. So now let's check out our Excel file, see if it just it did just that. Come show. So we can see here, let's expand this. Here's our user input. This is the best part out of me video I've ever seen. And then AI builders came out with an output of positive. If this came out negative, that would have been a problem. So this is obviously positive, but as you can see, AI builders picked up the positive tone from this review. All right, so now we're done. Um, there are many cool things that Power Automate AI models can do, so make sure to try all of them, and also make sure to check out uh, new updates from Microsoft since this is a new um, Power Automate action block, so there's always new things coming out for it. Thank you again for joining me in this Tips and Tricks video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.